boys and girls, or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching. I'm doing Tuesday morning story time, and I hope a lot of you have come back to watch us and join with us. So I'm going to take my mask off now because we are social distancing, so I don't need it. But remember to wear your masks when you're out so we all stay safe and hopefully to get over this coronavirus that's causing all of us a lot of anxiety. So, first of all, let's just be happy and joyful today and glad we can be together as best we can and let's sing our welcome song. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so, then we'll stretch and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. So if we're gonna have fun, you know who we have to let come out of his box because Panda wants to have fun too. Okay, Panda, time to come out for story time. This is your favorite morning, Tuesday morning story time. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, Panda has a new mask. Oh, Panda, you look so nice. You can take it off now. Oh, he said it's about time I got him a nice mask because he's seen so many nice masks, he wanted one too. Well, Panda, here we are. The boys and girls are watching. Okay, I know you wanna do your binoculars. We have this discussion every time we do story time, but I wanna keep you happy, so. I know, still no boys and girls out there, but they're watching from home and they're happy that you, that, that you, you know, that we still do Tory time and they can still see you. I know they're, they want to give you a hug. This is the best we can do right now. So let's be happy and let's sing our song. Okay, I'm going to put your box down here. Okay, with your blanket. And we will sing our opening song. Are you ready? Are you ready, boys and girls? Okay, let's get up a little bit here. Okay. Oh, there you go, Panda. I'm going to put you in your chair when I read the stories, though. All right. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Middle Finger? Where is Middle Finger? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is ring finger? Where is ring finger? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Yay! Oh, Panda, you did a good job. Well, uh, I know you miss saying the boys and girls' names, but we don't know when they're watching or who's watching right now. So we'll just do it, you know, the way we've been doing it the best we can. Where are the boys? Where are the boys? There they are. There they are. How are you today, boys? 
you hear them? They said, very well, I thank you. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Where are the girls? Where are the girls? There they are. There they are. How are you today, girls? Listen, Panda. Up. Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. All right, now everybody sit down and get ready for stories. And look at this, I got a chair for Panda. Can you sit up there, Panda? Are you okay? I think so. If Panda, you know, falls over, let me know. And I will have to put him somewhere else. I'm just going to fix my chair a little bit. Panda, our chairs are collide. Okay. So the first story today is Little Owl Lost. What? Well, Panda thought that um, we had an owl friend coming today for this story time. Do you hear any noise? Do you hear any woo, woo, woo? Oh, wait a minute, I think I do hear a noise. I think it's coming from back here. Ah, little owl. Ah, look at that. Little owl, were you hiding? Okay, well, we're glad you're here for story time two today. And I guess Panda told you when you were in the closet that we were going to have some stories about owls. So I'm glad you came. Say hi to the boys and girls. Okay, why don't you just sit right there if you can. Well, don't fall off. Well, I guess I am just going to have to let you just kind of sit up here. Okay, so you'll like this one. Little Owl Lost. Oh, look, is that you sitting up there? It looks to me like a mommy owl and a baby owl. Uh-oh. What's going on with baby owl? Oh no, don't fall. Uh-oh. Oh, fell right out of the nest and oh my gosh, I think he bumped his head. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Poor little owl bump, bump, bump. Oh, but somebody is looking out for him. Do you see who that is? Peering down from the tree. Are you okay? Asked Squirrel. Well, I'm lost, said Little Owl. Where is my mommy? Don't worry, little friend. I'll find your mommy. What does she look like? My mommy is very big. <gasps> big, big like that, said Little Owl. Oh, yes, 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 I know, I know, said Squirrel. Follow me. Here she is. Here's your mommy. Does that look like little owl's mommy? No, no, said little owl. That's not my mommy. My mommy has pointy ears like this. Oh, yes, yes, I know, I know, said squirrel. Follow me. Here she is. Here's your mommy. No, no, said Little Owl, that's not my mommy. My mommy has big eyes like this. <gasps> yes, yes, I know, I know, said Squirrel. Okay, follow me. Here is your mommy. Is that Little, little Owl's mommy? <sighs> no, said Little Owl, that's not my mommy either. Well, wait a minute, said Frog. I know your mom. Let's see if Frog can do a better job than Squirrel with finding the mommy. Follow me. Your mommy's looking everywhere for you. And they both point. Oh, is this your mommy? Yes, yes, here she is. Here's my mommy. Oh, thank you, said Mommy Owl. 
why don't you come up to our nest for some cookies? Yes, please, said Squirrel. Cookies are our favorite thing. So there they all are having a snack. It's kind of crowded in the nest. Oh no, let's hope little owl doesn't fall off again. Uh-oh, it looks like he might. He had quite an adventure. Little owl, did you like that book? I think you did. So, I have another book about owls at night. Did you know, boys and girls, my owl friend knows, he's kind of sleepy because owls sleep during the day. So, that's okay if you go to sleep, little owl, because this book is called Little Owl's Night. Little Owl was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. Guess they're up at night, too. Hedgehog sniffed around the pumpkin patch, and Skunk was eating berries because he couldn't find snails. What would you rather have, berries or snails? I'd rather have the berries. By the river, beavers gathered and gnawed at the trees. See them over here? And Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend the raccoon as they sat in the clover. Fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon and silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. On the way, Little Owl flew by right here, Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear! Don't sleep all night, Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon. But the bear kept snoring as usual. Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. Oh, how he loved the forest night. Frog croaked softly. Can you croak like a frog? And Cricket chirped smartly. I don't know how to do a cricket sound, but maybe you do, boys and girls. If you know a cricket sound, go ahead and do it. Okay. Little Owl heard rustling by the foot of his tree. Look, Fox came to say hello. And do you see Bunny Rabbit sleeping down there in his hole? Oh, it was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, said Little Owl, tell me again how night ends. Well, the moon and the stars fade, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moon flowers close and morning glories open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold, and the rooster crows. Can you do a rooster crow? I bet you can. Cock a doodle doo! And the crows caw, 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 caw. And the day begins, said Mama. But Little Owl did not hear because he was fast asleep. Okay, did you like those two owl books? I'm glad you, oh, yay, I'm glad you came today. Oh, our owl friend said that was really fun. And what else? 
He was so glad to get out of the closet. Hi, boys and girls, he's waving to you. Okay, now we're gonna go over to do one of our board stories. You can come with me. All right, boys and girls, we have some little owls sitting up here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little owls went flying high over the hills and through the sky. Mama Owl said, whoo, whoo, whoo. But only one, two, count with me, three, four little owls came flying back. Oh. One, two, three, four little owls went flying high over the hills and through the sky. Mother Owl said, whoo, whoo, whoo. Only three little owls came through. One, two, three. Three little owls flying through the sky, over the hills and through the sky. Mother Owl said, whoo, whoo, whoo. But only two little owls came through. One, two. Two little owls went flying high over the hills and through the sky. Mother Owl said, whoo, whoo, whoo. Only one little owl came flying through. One little owl went flying high over the hills and through the sky. Mother Owl said, Hoo, hoo, hoo. <gasps> no little owls came back. But then Mother Owl said, Hoo, 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 hoo. And one, two, three, four, five little owls came back. Say, Okay, now we have time for one more story. Okay, our last book for today is Yes We Can. And it's a little lesson for all of us in how we get along with other people and with our friends. And it is Yes We Can. Little Rue was chasing leaves one windy day. Rue's friend, Country Mouse, and Quacker Duck were waiting to play with him. It kind of looks like a fall day, doesn't it? Let's make a big pile of leaves, said Rue. A mountain of leaves, said Country Mouse. The biggest ever seen, quacked Duck. So they began to collect up all the leaves they could find. But making a leaf mountain is hard work. So after a while, they stopped for a rest. While they were resting, little Rue said to his friend, Quacker Duck, I know something you can't do. You can't jump over a big, big log. Yes, I can, said Quacker Duck. So Quacker Duck tried as hard as she could, but little ducks aren't made to jump over big logs. Country Mouse thought it was so funny when Quacker Duck fell over all oh, the fallen down tree. Don't laugh at me, said Quacker Duck to Country Mouse. I know something you can't do. You can't float on a puddle. Yes, I can, said Country Mouse. So Country Mouse tried to float on the puddle, but 
Hmm, a little mouse isn't made for floating. And little Ruth thought it was so funny when Country Mouse crawled out of the water soaking wet and dripping. <gasps> Look, they're, all, they're just laughing. Don't you laugh at me, said Country Mouse. I know something you can't do. You can't catch your tail. Yes, I can, said Rue. So Rue tried as hard as he could to catch his own tail, but his tail would not be caught. It was too far away. Country Mouse and Quacker Duck laughed and laughed as Rue ran round and round in circles trying to grab that tail. Don't you dare laugh at me, cried Rue. Well, you laughed at me said Mouse. And you laughed at me, said Duck. No one was happy. No one was happy because each had made fun of someone else and someone else had made fun of them. So instead of making the biggest mountain of leaves that anyone had ever seen, they looked as they might all go home in a bad, bad Ooh, look at all those frowny faces. But Little Rue's mother came over to see what the fuss was about. I'm not surprised the three of you look so grumpy, she said. Nobody likes to be laughed at. Well, it was true. No one likes to be laughed at. Why don't you show each other what you can do, said Rue's mom. Ah, oh, Rue cried. I can jump over a big, big log. He hopped up and over the fallen down tree. That's really good jumping, the other said. I can float on a puddle, said Quacker Duck, taking to the water with ease. That's really excellent floating, the others agreed. And when Country Mouse caught his own tail, Little Rue and Quacker Duck thought this tail catching was the best they had ever seen. There now, said Rue's mother. Can we all be friends again? Little Rue, Country Mouse, and Quacker Duck looked at one another and they were all thinking the same thing. Yes, we can. Okay, so that was a nice story about how to get along with your friends. So it's end of story time, so let's stand up and do a big stretch up. Oh, stretch as high as you can. And now bring your arms down and take a big breath and stretch up. And down. Okay, now let's do our little stretchy song. Hands on shoulders. Hands on knees, hands behind you if you please. Touch your shoulders, now your nose, now your hair, and now your toes. Hands up high in the air, down at your sides, now touch your hair. Hands up high as before, now clap your hands, one, two, three, four, and give yourselves a big clap. And Panda and I and Owl are so happy you came to see us today. Bye, boys and girls. Come back and see us next week.